June 18, 1976, marked the first known rape by the East Area Rapist, the man who attacked at least 24 times in Sacramento by breaking into his victims' homes while they slept. In this KCRE 3 video, you can see community meetings packed with hundreds of worried people. <laughs> and women flocking to self-defense classes. It was a time of innocence. And then in June of 1976, that all changed for this community. Now, investigators are using the 40th anniversary of the start of that crime spree, which included 12 murders, to make a new plea for information and revisit some clues. For instance, we know what the East Area Rapist sounded like. Listen. That's a recording authorities made. The rapist would sometimes call his victims after the rape. We also know he wore these ski masks. He often would use shoelaces to tie up a man in the home and then rape his wife. And he would ransack homes and steal usually small items like jewelry. It's quite possibly he still has a number of these items that he uh, has, has kept over the years uh, as a way to remember uh, the, the crimes and the terror that he inflicted. Could he still be alive? There's really no reason to believe that he isn't alive. Um, based upon age ranges back in those times, uh, we estimate him, and it's a wide range, to be anywhere from 60 to 75 years old. The East Area Rapist went on to rape and kill in the Bay Area and Southern California. The impact of the crimes has been long-lasting. Investigators recorded an interview with his first victim from June 18, 1976. And then there's sometimes it just, I wake up and, and I'm, I'm upset and I don't really realize what I'm upset about. And then all of a sudden, oh, it's the 18th. In Sacramento, Sharkina Shams, KCRA 3 News.